Hi everyone, I'm Ara Dardarian, and today we take a look at Apple's AirPlay on the Apple TV. Back in podcast 448, we did a feature on Apple's AirPlay technology. And today, we're going to do a demonstration of it because Apple has recently released its uh, version 4.2 of the iOS, bringing AirPlay technology to uh, iPhones, iPod Touches, and iPads. So uh, Apple's always had a remote control app uh, where you can, through your iPhone, send audio uh, to remote speakers, uh, including Apple TVs. And, uh, but you would do that from controlling another PC that had to have iTunes uh, on and running. What uh, Apple's AirPlay does is now you can, from your iPad, an iPhone, an iPod Touch, uh, send audio and video directly from the device to the uh, audio zone. So we are going to first uh, start out with the uh, iPhone and then move over to the iPad. Uh, we'll pick a song at random and uh, let's take um, the Black Crows and uh, we'll play this, She Talks Like an Angel. So that's playing on my iPhone right now. Press a button in the, in the interface here. We're gonna send that to the Apple TV. And a little dialog box will come up here to tell you that what song is playing, who the artist is on your Apple TV. Kinda, kinda cool. And you can raise and lower the volume uh, from, your, from your iPhone. All right, so you're done with music, but you wanna watch some video. So simple as selecting a video on your iPod, you um, go to videos and we're going to select, um, let's see, Goo Goo Dolls, it's a music video. So that's playing on the uh, iPhone. Now what we're gonna do is send that to the Apple TV and in just a second, you'll see it here on, uh, on Apple TV. Cool thing is now you can go uh, on your iPhone, uh, make a phone call, do whatever you want while the video is still transferring over. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else I want to say about this. You can scrub, so we'll just move in the timeline. And you can fast forward, pause, all the control is done through your iPhone. And uh, essentially that's it. Uh, you can, um, also it doesn't have to go to the Apple TV. I have another zone here in the master bedroom and I'm gonna send, uh, even though I'm doing the video, the audio should come out of that zone here in a second. So the video stays on the iPhone, and in this case, the audio is going to another, uh, another audio zone here. So I don't know where you'd want to do that, but maybe you have better speakers and uh, they're nearby and you'd want to do that. So that is AirPlay on the iPhone. Now we're going to pick up the iPad and uh, essentially do the same thing. The difference here though is that there's a couple other applications that support AirPlay. One of them is Pandora and uh, I love Pandora. You hit play and it, this is playing on the iPad, but if I want, we're going to send it to the uh, Apple TV. It's going to come up on the Apple TV here and the audio is going to come up. The difference between uh, Pandora and uh, your iPad, or your iPhone, I'm sorry, in, in iTunes is you don't get the information about the artist, it just says unknown artist, unknown album. Um, apparently Pandora is not sending that information, but they can if they, if they choose to in the future. So we're going to hit stop. Now we're not going to go through audio, the audio works the same way on the iPad as it does on the iPhone. What I do want to do is bring up uh, video. And uh, so I have that in my multimedia folder, video. And I'm gonna put up an episode of Burn Notice. We're gonna hit play and we're gonna select the Apple TV. It takes a few seconds, but it ends up streaming here on the Apple TV. Pretty cool. You have the same sort of scrubbing control. You can pause, play, fast forward, Fast forward. So all that control is here. And so I'm gonna hit play. Audio is playing. And again, if you choose to, you can go check email. You can go do whatever you want. For some reason, while I was checking email, it stopped playing. So just to prove that it does do that, we're gonna hit play again. There are some, some glitchiness with this that I've noticed.
All right, so now we're playing. Now we'll go check email. And so there's email and we're playing. So uh, that's essentially it. One of the things we noticed is that uh, not all applications support AirPlay. Uh, it's, an, it's their option, the application developer's option if they want to support it. Netflix doesn't support it, but that's okay because the Apple TV does have Netflix already embedded in it. Uh, I'd love to see Hulu Plus with it or the ABC app. Right now, you can only watch those on the, uh, on the iPad itself or on the iPhone but I'm assuming uh, and hoping actually that in the near future they will support the, um, the AirPlay technology. If they do do that, I think this is gonna be a killer application. So that's our demonstration. We hope you liked it. Uh, remember, you can check out our podcast at htguys.com and uh, we appreciate you watching.